gents and ladies of course. Today, nice easy vid, how to make your own capacitor out of a bit of tin foil, sticky back plastic and a bit of drain pipe. One layer of foil on the outside, one on the inside, one wire there, one on the inside. Easy. Well, there's a capacitor out of a microwave and you can see on there, there's a resistor on that which just drops down the power after 10 minutes or so so it doesn't end up with a nasty charge in it but they don't all have that obviously you want to watch out for PCBs in the older capacitors very hazardous so all that is is a roll of tin foil and paper let's have a look right this is the inside of the microwave oven capacitor two layers of foil insulated and rolled up very straightforward that's all it is Oh, and there's some bigger ones. And I think I need to put that lot in the insect zapper. So then I shall really know about it when a fly goes in there. Kaboom! Yes. Some of those in parallel and some sets in series will do that nicely. So behind us, we've got five foot square sheet of perspex and a sheet of foil either side of it. And we can crank it up stupid and it will accumulate a rather a large amount of electrons on the surface so you get some nice discharges. Simple as that. <laughs> Well, I guess that's what happens when we uh, exceed the voltage that it was designed for.
I've ever done it. I popped it. Right, that's it. I ain't having it. I'm gonna push this one to stupid volts. We've got three more transformers, so it doesn't matter on this one. Right guys, have fun with your aluminium foil and your plastic sheeting or pipe, whatever you're going to use. Don't touch it. See you soon. Oh, and thanks for watching. <laughs>